I had a bunch of questions. I've had a bunch of questions over the last year um, about how molds, or at least how my molds were made for the videos that I have here on YouTube showing um, how, to, how to build a composite pylon racer plane. Um, it's, a, they're, they're, it's a bagged wing plane. I think the one I show in the video is a bad, bagged wing plane, but I also have some hollow molded <coughs> wings and some molds for wings that, that I've used. Um, and, and it's really difficult to explain in just a text uh, or even in an email how it's done. So <clears throat> what I thought I'd do is show, uh, show some of my molds and kind of go through the process of how I made the molds. Um, and, and that probably will give you um, answers to your initial rounds of questions. But it will probably uh, um, spawn a bunch of more questions. Um, if that does, and if you still have more questions, you know, I, I'll try to answer any questions you might have, but um, a really good resource for information on doing this is, is, on, is the Composites group on RC Groups, uh, the, um, the Composites Forum. Uh, it's located, uh, I'll make it appear here somewhere. Um, check that out, go make a post, ask a question. There's a lot of people there that uh, are more than willing to help uh, help with that. So let's let's move on. Um, the first thing you need to do if you're going to make a mold for an, uh, an airplane or anything, a wing, is you need a plug for that mold. That's what this is. Um, this is wood, very heavy. It'd probably never fly um, at this weight, <coughs> um, and. There's a number of ways that you can make a, a plug. Obviously, you just you can you can uh, cut it and sand it to shape. I used my lathe to help me uh, make this, uh, but it's uh, it's essentially it's it's the fuselage for a pylon plane, T-tail, uh, wing saddle. Uh, it's a combination of wood and and bondo um, for the fillets, uh, um, and and you know that's that's kind of that's it. And then it's primed, and I use a uh, automotive um, paint, a two-part two urethane, uh, polyurethane paint. I think it's polyurethane paint. Uh, a base coat, and then a clear coat, and then it's all uh, buffed, so it's, it's shiny. Uh, you can see I kind of buffed through back here into the primer. Uh, that's not a big deal. It released from the mold just fine. So you, gotta, you have to have a plug for essentially the whole plane. Here's the tail. I guess you can see that. Um, that's the tail. And in this case, I made a hollow molded wing. So here's the wing. It's got some uh, cutouts for the servos, or at least a spot indent for the servos. And this wing was made exactly like the other wings in, my, uh, in the videos before this. Um, it's a foam wing, it's got fiberglass sheeting over it, and then I uh, filled all the fiberglass with, with filler and then painted it with the same paint I painted everything else with. Uh, I did add, uh, you can see there's a little uh, fillet here so that it, when it matches up to the wing, um, it's a little easier transition there. But essentially you have built a wooden model of your plane, pylon plane. Um, so now that you have plugs, you've got to make molds. And <clears throat> I'll show you the first thing that you do. And this one's dirty. I think you can probably see it. Um, but the first thing you do is uh, you have to cut out the shape of your plug. Whether you're doing the wing or the fuse or anything else, it's it's all the same. <clears throat> and then you have to embed. This one should be sitting up off the ground just a little bit. It has to sit down in. This is a parting plane, okay? And uh, I don't have anything to set it up. But it should be setting up a little bit because you can see that the it, it extends below this board. My plug does. 
and it needs a little bit of work. I think it's shrunk or moved a little bit. So I'd need, if I was going to make another mold for out of this plug, I'd probably uh, either modify this parting board or build a new one. Or, you know, um, and there's a lot of tricks to getting this. This parting board, the the plane of this board needs to be right at the center line of the fuse all the way down, so that you you can. Um, pull it apart once you get the mold made and get your plug out and get your parts out of the mold um, There's a number of ways to, to to align it and then to get the parting plane exactly right up to the edge. I use um, some epoxy mixed with Cabasil or micro balloons here um, to fill in the void and then I pop the plug out sand that all flush to the board and then drop the plug back in and then it's a perfect fit. Um, but I'm just basically going through the process. So now that you have this with the parting board, um, you need to, then you form with, with I just used some wood block, uh, some wood, uh, you know, cut some, some pieces of wood and you form this out. So, so you have walls essentially all the way around it. <clears throat> and then, Let's see, which one is it that we're going to, this one, this half. Nope, it's the other one, sorry. <clears throat> so once you have the walls built up, Then what you do is is you paint it with with uh, you put two layers of a tooling coat. So it's a special type of epoxy that's really hard. Um, and then you know you, you you put the tooling coat down uh, and it's black. You can see right here it's black. And then uh, then you put some layers of fiberglass or some sort of reinforcement. I backfilled this mold with sand and epoxy mixed together. Uh, to make it thick and strong. Uh, let me sh I'll show you some other molds here. Uh, if you don't, I built this mold thick and heavy so that I could um, put an inflation bladder in here and, and uh, essentially blow up a balloon in here to, to push all the, um, the fabric into the mold and, and make the, your, your joints nice. Uh, you can also make molds like this that are just uh, you know, it's all fiberglass and epoxy, the mold itself. Uh, it's a little dusty, needs to be cleaned up to be used, but it's, they're built essentially the same way. Uh, they're just not as thick and they won't hold pressure. I've, I've tried to use a bladder on this one and it's, it, it pulls out, um, separates at, at the seam line. Um, but, but that's one, it's another way to make a mold if you don't want to use or don't need to use uh, air pressure. <clears throat> but once you get that, uh, the gel coat on, a little bit of reinforcement, maybe some sand and epoxy mixed together, then I've got some fiberglass on top of that. It looks like, I don't want to really hurt my, okay, <clears throat> it's like, it, it sits like that and it's in the parting board. Once it all cures, you peel the, the side walls that were that were the dams that were holding this, you peel that off, and then you peel the parting plane parting board off of their mold, and it looks just like this. When you pull it apart, it looks just like that. Now you don't need this anymore unless you're going to make another mold. So then you have this side. It looks like this, and what you do is you just build the walls up along the side to contain it. And then you do the exact same thing on the other side. Um, I didn't mention it. Be I, I use uh, um, uh, just use something to index the 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 mold so that <clears throat> it goes together and aligns itself once you have the plug out. Um, so that's what these little um, nibs are here. Um, and then then you then you build the other side the, the exact same way. <clears throat> 
and then and then you take the side walls out and then you you end up like with something like this and then you have to separate your mold and you're going to end up with the plug in one side and then you got to try to work it and get the plug out and the plug comes out you do that for, you do a, the similar thing for your wings here's a tailplane a mold for a tailplane very similar process um, I would never do it exactly like this again. Wings, the trailing edge of a wing really needs a resin channel that sits right through this area right here. Any wing I do in the future is going to have that incorporated in it uh, on both sides. It's essentially a trough right at the trailing edge. Um, makes, it makes laying up the, the wings much easier, much better. Um, Oops. Uh, so that's that's a, a tail mold. That's a fuse mold. You're done. You have at that point you have molds, um, and then you can uh, go ahead and lay up a fuse just like I show in the video, um, and, and make fuses for airplanes. Um, that is the basic process in ten minutes or whatever this is. Um, there's obviously a lot that should spawn a lot of other questions. Check out that RC groups. There's a wealth of information there. There's a lot of people there that's more than willing to help to, for you to, to figure out how to actually make it all work and what epoxies to use, what glass, what type of reinforcement. Uh, you know, like this one, this mold is, is epoxy and sand right here. This mold happens to be um, pour, uh, pour over and uh, um, epoxy. Very light. It's a really lightweight mold. The pour over is really light stuff, but kind of hard, to, difficult to find in the, in the U.S. I think it's easier to find in Europe, and it's used more in Europe. But that's one way. Uh, here's, you know, my big wing mold. It's all pour over too, so that it's nice and light. Again, I would uh, put a resin channel on the trailing edge of that wing. Um, the, let's see here. I've done molds. This is a mold, this is a mold for a, a Supra. This is a mold for a Supra pod, or a pod for a Supra. Um, and this mold actually has uh, some sand and epoxy, but it's mostly this whole top part is uh, MDF, not yeah, MDF plywood with some fiberglass with two, uh, three or four layers of six ounce fiberglass uh, on front and back, and it, it makes up most of the room in here and fills it. And it's actually worked pretty good. It hasn't warped at all, um, and it takes. You know, it'll take, I've only pressured the mold up to 50 or 60 pounds, um, but it takes that without any problem. So there's all sorts of ways that you can make molds, um, and, and, you know, that's how I do mine. There's, there's others, other ways to do it too, I'm sure, that it's probably better. I learn every time I, I do this, I learn something new. Anyways, uh, good luck in your building.